Hi guys, hope you're all having a great January thus far. I have been ill the whole of last week. I was suffering from like a serious cough and a sore throat. It just felt like my throat just wanted to close up. It's because of the Hamatan that has reached Ghana. It's like a desert-like weather from the Saharan desert and it's like someone's just and put white chalk all over my car <laughs> it's made everybody feel sick I'm feeling a bit better this week actually I'm feeling much better this week so at the moment the weather is just really really hot and really really dusty it's just got like the 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 wind is just blowing the um, sand and stuff everywhere, it's just really, really... For years, I've been hearing about this Hamatan weather. And when like my mom and aunties and people in Ghana have said it to me, they're like, oh yeah, Hamatan. And I'm like, for years, I was wondering, what is it that they're actually saying, yeah, Hamatan? And it's like, is it hammer time? What is it? Only when I've been sick through it, I thought, let me go research this on the internet. And it's Hamatan weather. You see, Ghanaians, they'll mess up any words they can, trust me. So anyway, I will do an update video. Things have been happening, so I'll do a separate video. But what I wanted to talk about today was when my sisters left, right? They literally packed up the whole of Ghana. And it's like, why do Africans pack so much stuff when traveling? I am like really confused. Please someone, if you have the answer, let me know. Because they packed up everything that Ghana has to offer. And it's like, some of the stuff you can get in London, but it's like, nah, it tastes different here. Nah, it's cheaper here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not aside from all of this. I kind of do the same thing, but recently, when I was living in London, basically, I wanted, because I um, moved just before I came, I moved to stay with my mum for a bit before I came to Ghana, I decided, like, I can't keep on having all this stuff. What has happened is that being in Ghana, I have stuff where I'm staying. I have stuff at my cousin's wife's house. I have stuff in my car boot. I have stuff in London as well. And it's getting too much I don't feel that one person should have so much it just it's not good for the mind you know what do they say a tidy desk is a tidy mind something along those lines and I just feel like I just want to get rid so these days I don't like to have a lot of stuff on British Airways and most other airlines it's 23 kilos per bag you're allowed two bags and a hand luggage and a handbag you should see the foolishness that I see sometimes. The handbags look like hand luggages. The hand luggages look like suitcases. I remember on British Airways, as long as it fits in that um, compartment thing, it can weigh 40 kilos if you want, because they don't weigh it, but the other airlines do. So it's just amazing to see the stuff that people do when coming to Ghana or Africa. Why is it that we pack so much? I just don't know. Not to mention the rushing around. On the last day, I'm number one for this. The last day, not, you had your ticket for ages. You knew when you were leaving. Why is it on the last day, you're up so early in the morning, getting all these bits and pieces. So this is what the girls were doing and I was just following them around saying, when I travel, this is not gonna be me again. I vow to change. I'm going to change. I'm not going to travel like that anymore because it, it makes you feel hot and bothered when you get to the airport because you know you're going to be over and then you're there and you're taking all the stuff out of the suitcase, putting back stuff back in, going on the scales, taking stuff out while it's on the scales and it's like, why travel like this? It's just too much pressure for anybody. So after seeing it, like I'm always the one, but after seeing it, I ain't traveling like that again. Take my word for it. What makes me laugh is, we all pack the world, but no one wants to pay the excess. <laughs> we all pack over 23 kilos, knowing it's gonna be over, 
but you're vexed when they told you to pay excess. That's what makes me laugh the most. That it's like I never expected it. Especially my mum. <laughs> she knows her stuff's over. But when you tell her that she's got to pay, like, say, you know, ten pound per kilo. What? Are you kidding me? Why should I pay ten pound a kilo? This, that, and the other. You lot of teeth. Yeah, when the workers tell you you got to pay eighty pounds plus at the airport, you look like you want to cry because they're telling you to pay this money. But you knew, you knew that you were over. So I don't understand what else it was that you expected them to tell you. <laughs> I'm the same. I'm like, what? I'm sure at the airport they've heard all the excuses. I came for a funeral. Um, I've got a relative that's sick. Um, you know, um, I haven't seen my my parent in in years. So you know, I brought all this stuff. They don't care because it is 23 kilos and you knew, you knew. I've seen some things now my cousin's been showing me. I mean now some people don't even carry suitcases because they weigh too much. So they stuff everything in a Ghana must go bag, they get to the airport and then they wrap it in that um, see-through cellophane and that helps you put like extra stuff. There you go, try tactics like that instead of packing the whole world and trying to um, get away with not paying excess. I don't even know why I'm going on like, I'm not one of these people. I am. <laughs> I hate paying excess. I, I paid it once in my life and that was a very horrible experience. So basically, when my cousins and my sister were leaving Ghana, like I said, they took the whole of Ghana. I wanted to show you guys what actually happened. Because not only did they end up taking loads of stuff, could they take it all? Hmm, here's what happened. These girls are so last minute. Yes, they are. Extremely last minute. It five o'clock going to five o'clock and they need to go to a car mall so they say then come back me on the other hand i don't have that same problem so i'm going around with these people making sure that they get to where they need to get to and then get back in time so they don't lose their friend how nice it is This is what they're taking back to London. What we've got here. Moscatella. I know some of you would be jealous about that. What's this? Fanta apple. Um, Milo, much cheaper in Ghana. Fan dingo. Yes, and anti 